Planet Crafter. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. A space survival open world terraforming crafting game designed for one to ten players. Alter the ecosystem of an inhospitable planet to render it habitable for humanity. Survive, gather resources and build your base. Then generate oxygen, warmth and pressure to create a brand new biosphere. Now guys, I did an extensive review on this two years ago. Um, so I'm not going to go deep into this uh, because I've already done that. But version one has released today. I've been lucky enough to have access to it for four days. So I've been hammering this along with Cass because it now has co-op. And uh, this game, guys, was one of the, the few games that I've been looking forward to this year. There's probably about five games this year that I've really been looking forward to. This is one of them. This is one of the best games that will release this year. And it's a travesty now, guys, that an hour and a half after the embargo was lifted, I mean, I'm late with my review, but nobody else has covered this. None of the big game game sites have even touched this with a barge pole. I find that disgusting when you think of the shite that they're straight out with the second the embargo releases on absolute wank that we've seen over the last few years. But hey ho, that's the way the gaming industry is. This is a small indie company, so why bother, I guess. I'll tell you why I bother guys, because this is a great game. This is a fantastic game. I did 19 hours in the early access version. And um, I've done, I think, now 27 and a half hours. Cass has done 57 hours. We've both played this in co-op uh, together. Uh, so two-player co-op. And we haven't had a single crash. It just works, guys. I don't know how, how it is with more than two players. I'll find out because I'm going to start streaming it soon with other players. So we'll see how that goes. But I can vouch for two-player co-op. Absolutely brilliant. So what do you do? Well, you crash land on this planet, guys. Um, this inhospitable dust ball of a planet um it has no oxygen it has no water no food nothing it is just horrible when you leave your escape pod your oxygen will run out in about 60 seconds so you have to keep running back there to get a, a top up of oxygen so you're kind of in a very very perilous situation you need food and you have a, a very limited supply of it you need water you've got a very limited supply of that but luckily guys the planet surface is full of materials um elements if you like i think they're elements it's a long time since i did chemistry at school but um i do remember the periodic table guys we have um lots of things like carbon you'll find all of that magnesium um silicon i remember potassium was k potassium the, the chemical k uh Zinc, ZN, guys. ZN, zinc. Ah, who cares? What's, car what's carbon C? Basically, you gather the mats. You, you only have a little backpack, so you gather what you can. And But inside of your escape pod is a tier one crafter. And that is all you need to get you started. You will create a bigger backpack, better boots so you can run faster. But most importantly, you will create a construction and a deconstruction tool and you will equip them, and that's it. You will start building a base wherever you want. You may have to use uh, lots and lots of little bases to leapfrog around the planet to supply you with oxygen as you explore, but eventually you will find a place where you will build a base, and that base will eventually terraform this planet, the entire planet. You will turn it from a dust ball that it is into a thriving green planet full of lakes and waterfalls and fish insects butterflies amphibians life guys and the journey from dust ball to end is awesome it is so satisfying because you will see changes microscopic changes every step of the way you will build a base you will go searching and you will find loads of wrecked uh, spaceships just lying around why have they crashed why is there so many spaceships crashed on this planet well, there is a bit of a lore, a bit of a story behind that. You can search the logs inside the spaceship and you will find out what is going on. There is a bit of a story here. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But essentially, you will learn new technologies. You will build them with the elements that you find on this planet. You have to explore to find it all. And you will bring it back to your base and you will expand your base and create all these new machines, teleporters, drones that will do all of your work for you. Guys, it's just an amazing journey from nothing to this huge terraforming planet that you will build. And it's one of the most satisfying games you will ever play. 
it just is it has a grind i'm not gonna lie to you it has a the mid grind gets a bit frustrating and there's no 15 pound feet to get past but guys i don't care about the grind because i enjoyed every minute in this game it was really really something and i can't wait to stream this i'm going to stream this uh, and invite other people to just come in maybe get 10 player stream going on to see how that works but the first few hours are very perilous uh, the hardest part of the game in my opinion is the first five or six hours that's when you're at your most vulnerable you don't have any tech uh, you can die very easily by just being a bit greedy you see something in the distance you run for it and you don't have enough oxygen to get back to your little makeshift base and you will die you can set the parameters of this game so you can uh, decide what happens on death uh, there's also a creative mode but i highly recommend you don't go near that until you've actually finished the game because like i've said the journey from start to finish is beautiful it's great it's one of them games where you just forget about your problems and your woes you just get so absorbed in this game so intrigued into what's coming next what technology am i going to unlock just seeing the planet transform before your very eyes it's it's just awesome absolutely awesome to play this game it really and i don't say that lightly guys this is just one of the games that really did captivate me it doesn't have a huge amount of danger but just getting from each stage of terraforming to the next is just great. And when you find stuff as you explore, I love exploring and finding new tech and bringing it back. It, it Some people might say, oh, Mac, that sounds like work. I disagree. It's just living the role of that guy on that planet and just having to survive. If you like The Martian, the movie, well, you'll love this because it's just totally like that. We haven't finished the game and I'm pleased I haven't because we've been rushing through this really rushing through this and i don't want to do that i want to i don't we've got to probably about 80 percent of the game and we are now going to delete our saves and we are starting again and we're going to do it gently slowly and just really really enjoy it so there you go guys if you are into survival if you're into exploring if you're into the seeing the satisfaction of things there's no real danger apart from running out of oxygen food or water or being hit on the face with a meteorite that comes down i would have liked to have seen some maybe aliens on certain part of the planet or some kind of um danger that you would need a ray gun and shoot in the face or maybe even on, on some of the bigger spaceships some kind of self uh defense mechanism in there i don't know but it isn't really that type of game this is about exploration finding new stuff, upgrading everything, and just terraforming a planet. And it nails it. It absolutely nails it. And hey, AAA game companies, learn from this. This is innovation right here. This is talent. This is what you get when you're a gamer making games.